Hey YouTube, like I've mentioned previously, one of the great things about TickTick -Tick is that they're constantly evolving the app. They're constantly working on things, improving things, uh, coming out with updates. And just today they came out with another update. Now this is a rather small update, but I think it's worthwhile pointing it out. This one has to do with how the app is displayed and your own personal preferences. So let's check it out. So to start with, I'm jumping into the web app here. And this update you're going to find in the settings. So I'm going to click on my profile picture. From the drop down, I'll select settings. And this will initially take me to the preferences section of settings, but I want to go to the appearance. So let me click on appearance. Here you see the themes, so the colors and the different themes that you can choose. Now, this is not the new functionality, but as you can see at the top, we are on theme. However, if we click over to the display option, this is the new functionality that's new as of today. So you can see uh, the first option we have here is the sidebar count. So how do we want to see the sidebar count? Do we want to see all, which is the option that's selected by default? And that would mean that our count includes all tasks and all notes. Another option, the middle option here, is to hide the notes. So over on the sidebar, when we see the count, that would only show the tasks within that list. It would not include the notes. So that might be a good option for you. Another option, which is kind of the one I like because I'm more of a minimalist, uh, at least when it comes to TickTick -tick anyways, um, is to hide all of them. You know, let's don't show me any of the task or note count. Just get rid of it. So this is new. Uh, the next section that's also new is the completed task style. So how do you want to see your completed tasks? Uh, by default, it's grayed out a little bit, and you can see the gray check mark box is filled in. However, another option is to have it grayed out, the check box filled in, but also have the task name have the strike through. All right, so let's test this out just a little bit. Uh, let me click done so we can go back and look at my tasks real quick. So let me pull up the today view. Uh, send email to Ray as my first task. I'm going to go ahead and check that one. And now I can see it down here that it's completed. And I also see my task, uh, my today list has seven items. I'm going to add a note in here. So let me just add a new note. So it starts as a task. I have to right click and say convert to note. Now it's a note, and I'm just going to add a short description. So now when I look at my today view over on the left navigation panel, I see I have eight. So that includes, let's see what it all includes. It includes seven tasks. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tasks and one note. And so that, that adds up to eight. So now let's go change some of those new options. I'm going to go back into the settings, appearance, display and I'm going to say only show the tasks or rather hide the notes on my count and I'm also going to say on my completed tasks uh, I want to see the strike through. Click done and so now we see that the today view only has the seven tasks and it does not include my note and my completed task has a strike through it. So yeah, again, this is a small feature, small addition, but it's another reason why I really like using TickTick -tick because uh, they keep giving us more options. And the more you can change and use an application to your liking, uh, the more you're going to use it, right? And so again, that is one of the reasons why I do like using TickTick -tick myself is because I can kind of change it and use the app how is best for me and you can use it as best for you. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of these new features, uh, the new options that are available within TickTick. But that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.